Hey guys, Ryan Potter here with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Ambassador Real Estate and the Herb Professional Group. Um, I wanted to take this time um, just to do a short, quick video on commission because I know that's um, an awkward discussion to have sometimes with sellers. Um, and I know sometimes they don't ever want to bring that up or they're afraid to bring that up. And I just want to get straight to the point. So um, I'm going to use a little illustration here that will hopefully um, help out. Um, and so I list at 6%. Um, and there's a reason why I list at 6%. I'm gonna use this $100 bill as um, a representative of just my commission and the check that you're gonna pay out as a seller. Um, again, if you're a buyer, I get this question asked sometimes, if you're a buyer, how much does it cost to have you as a realtor? Nothing, it's free. Actually utilize that as a buyer because you don't pay the agent. Who pays the agent actually is gonna be the seller. Um, and I'll explain that here in a second. If you're a seller, I charge 6% commission. And here's why. I'm gonna break it down for you. Um, if I told you that I were going to list your house for 3.6%, how many of you would jump on board with that? I know I would. If I hear that, I'm going to jump on board because I'm like, 3% sounds a lot better than 6%. Well, essentially, it's the same thing. Um, what I'm doing as a listing agent is I'm listing your property for 3.5 or 3.6% commission um, at 6%. Now, let me break that down for you. I know that doesn't quite make sense yet, but here we're going to do it. If I am the listing agent, okay, out of that 6%, I'm keeping 3.6%. And you're probably gonna ask, well, where's the other 2.4%? Well, if this is our commission check and we get together on a deal, there's my 2.4%. It just went to the buyer's agent, okay? So if the other party has a buyer's agent and we pay them out typically at 2.4%, um, now I'm left with 3.6% commission. This is what you're paying me to list your house if you're a seller, okay? We've paid out the buyer's agent, right? Now we have to pay out the brokers that are involved. Um, so if, let's for, say for example, the buyer's agent is from MP Dodge and I am from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Ambassador Real Estate, guess what? There's a little fee there that goes to the brokerages for doing a deal together and bringing that deal together from both sides. Okay, so then after that, you have a royalty fee, which is what my broker takes. Um, so my broker will take a percentage of that commission check as well. And now we are left with this, right? Okay, so my 3.6% commission is again, dwindling quickly. Um, so now we've got the team lead percentage. So because I'm on a team, guess what? My team leader takes a percentage of that commission check. And now I'm left with this. Guess what? This is what I'm left with when we go to closing the day of um, the actual close. And this is the check that I get. Um, so out of that full 100, this is what I'm left with, but there's one last thing that needs to come out of this. And that is my taxes. So taxes then come out of that commission check and I'm left with this. Okay, so this is essentially what I take home after listing your house. Um, so hopefully that makes um, a little bit better picture of when somebody says 6% and you think that's a lot, it's actually not after all the things are taken out and the things that we pay for. Um, I could actually add in here a professional photographer because I pay for a professional photographer when I lift your house. I could take out of here um, measurements because I pay someone to do the measurements. Um, if I paid for a stager, I can take that out. And as you can see, it begins to dwindle down pretty quickly. Um, I'm not doing that to basically um, make you feel bad about um, anything <laughs> of, of those lines as far as um, when you hire on um, a realtor and stuff. And you know, I, I hear from a lot of for sale by owners sometimes where they're like, well, we don't want to pay out a commission, um, which is great. That's fine if you don't want to pay out a commission, but I would like the opportunity to explain to you where that commission goes because a lot of people just see the commission that gets paid out and they don't understand where a lot of that other money from that commission check goes. That doesn't all go in my pocket when I list your house and when we close on the house. So if you see their high number, um, that's not all going to the listing agent. It has to get paid out to other people as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you understood a little bit more and got educated on the commission standpoint and how that works. If you have any more questions about that or want to learn more, message me, Facebook me, email me, call me, text me, whatever you want to do. Look me up on Snapchat 
or Instagram or any of those things and get back to me as well. I'm on all those things. But um, people know me as Realtor Potter. I'm the Omaha expert, um, real estate expert here in Omaha. And uh, I look forward to educating you guys, training you guys more on just uh, what goes on in the industry and what goes on in our current market. And uh, hopefully, educate you a little bit on things like today with commission. So if you have other topics or things you want me to discuss, let me know. I will go over those things and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks guys. Have a good one.